control. Late nights keep on taking toll. I need it on my, on my, on my own. Hello, everyone. We're back with some more Castlevania Nocturne. This is episode five, The Natural Order. So they went to see if the abbot is actually the one created night creatures. He's the fourth master, fourth master, Jesus. They find out he is. And um, Annette um, saw that the, um, the night creature is Eduardo. He was up in the singing, giving them some background music while they was fighting, right? And then Old Rocks pulled up, Belmont freaked out, dropped this in his little dagger and dipped it like he he like he left them in the dust. Like he won gold in the Olympic race. Like he literally left them in the dust. Like he left them in the dust. Like he did, like they didn't, like when they got out the thing, he was like, Where's Richter? He left, and then Annette talking about he a coward, ma'am. Ma'am, we shouldn't have been down there in the first damn place because there literally was no plan. You wanted to go down there because you was being emotional. Joe, you're angry, that's not never do stuff when you are emotional, whether it's like a love, it's anger, it's sad, you're uh, depressed. Never do anything under high emotions because you're not going to make any sound, logical decisions. You, you, ne why you, no, no, do it. So now, this is where we at. And the dude trying to justify his reason because they're destroying the church. And blah, blah, blah. So the concept of communication, talking to the people, w w was. Like, for one, y'all started this in the first damn place. Like, it was because of the church that Dracula really released the Hordes of Hell and all this stuff. And essentially everything that popped off when you think about it. It literally was because of the church that... I mean, I'm not sure if this this, um, this whole Messiah thing has anything to do with the events in, you know, the first Castlevania. But if it does, you know, if it's just like a, you know, cause and effect thing, then, then technically it's the church to blame because you burned his wife. And then you wanted to pretend he didn't exist. Then you celebrated it. He gave you a year to make amends. You celebrated. Like, woo! Like, technically, if you, I mean, if you, if you really want to get to the nitty gritty of it, it's your fault. So. Anyway, let's jump into episode five. Like, he. Oh, boy. But he's going to have to face that. He's going to face all rocks eventually. He's going to have to face him. Show them who you are. Oh, baby. He needs a hug. It's deeper than I thought. Yeah, you saw how long her nails was? Jesus. I've only tried this a couple of times before. Ouch! And it's only worked once. I can only do it on flesh wounds. Ooh. I've been trying to teach myself bones, but... It's... You're brilliant. Ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> His wife is saying she intends to keep the head. I shudder to imagine what she's planning to do with it. Yeah? Can we I keep our head up together? Tears, Nikolai. Give her my condolences, will you? Tell her it's a shame. He will be missed. He was a loyal servant. <laughs> She's like, blah, blah, blah. And you know, all that stuff. exquisite taste for soft furnishings. Did my audio just go out? Oh. <gasps> Oh my god. A few moments later. Look, just froze. So give me one moment if I can. Oh my god, it's not. There we go. There we go. I had to close that out. Yeah. What are you doing? 
tell me you're not going back to the Abbey. I don't need you to come with me. No, See? Don't go. It's not, it's not a logical decision. I told Edouard come back for him. Annette. But you... Now is not the time. You are for real, especially at night. Fit. I'm furious. I am too. But we have yeah. to wait. For what? He ran away. Try to forgive him. Alrox is the vampire who killed his mother. The dragon that's haunted his nightmares since he was a child. We all have nightmares. The first time a slave runs away, they're branded with this mark on their shoulder. The people with this mark, they're the people who know intimately how much freedom can cost. They wear it every day. So I do too. Ma'am, you, you, you could have just that opened my door. It terrify me. I'd never be free of it. Yeah, but everybody works stuff differently though. Like I understand what she's saying, but everybody does it. It's not gonna, you know, handle things the same. The sun will rise soon. Shouldn't you get back to the chateau? Where are you staying? Hmm? <laughs> well, there's an inn on the other side. It's good. Quiet. Private. Hmm? <laughs> I like it here in town. I like to keep my ear to the ground. Will you be next? I've never been a believer of any kind. Maybe I need to see to believe. I've heard she's very formidable. Formidable, wonderful, a lioness. Evil trembles before her. Okay, ma'am. They presented you to me hours after you were born. Tiny, squalling thing. Ugly as a newly hatched chick. With Your a mama. Neck like a wishbone. Over the body, yeah. Damn. I've had yours to study you as well. I haven't forgotten the way you cower before the Christian God. The Christian God. Yup. That smell, burning flesh. You should know it well. <gasps> the oh! Your mother made when she died. I know the songs you and the other girls used to sing when you thought everyone was asleep. You about to die, you know what your son? Nightmares are. He trying to get about it up, like ah! Let me out! Let me out! Yep, you ain't I getting out, son. Wake up some mornings with the he smell. He tried really hard to get out that cage. Sugar in the back of your throat and forget you ever left. That's because you're not free where it matters. You're the one mm. with the brand on your forehead. Elizabeth is coming with all of Sekhmet's power to restore all things. What does that mean? It means you can kill me. But Elizabeth will never be defeated. Okay. She will come with eternal night. She will destroy everyone and everything you love. You better get crispy, nigga. Crispy. Oh, the sun is rising, devouring the darkness. It always does. Mm. This is the natural order. Yep. Preter, turn goat. But what would have happened if he hadn't done what he did? Was the whole world safe because of one man's betrayal? I was a fool to trust you. I wish I never met you. If you hadn't met me, we wouldn't have Maria. Oh! Oh! He said my father was dead. Oh, he the Pretty. pappy. He the pappy. Oh, he the pappy. Oh, that's definitely against the church, sir. I mean, if you appreciate it, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be having relations. Oh! Oh, I know he the, oh, he the pappy. Did not see that coming at all. Where the fuck is the old man? Uh-oh. Oh, fuck another one. <laughs> 
You the boy man the next time you saw my <laughs> face. <laughs> face. <laughs> no, he just he just dip behind the thing he's like oh, Here's my face. Give it your best. <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, he got a spy ball, old man. Okay. Granddaddy got this. Okay, grandpappy. But why he got a Belmont with the is he a Belmont? Hey! Who is this? Who yeah, who is this? Dude? Aren't you supposed to be clever? What? That's what Julia always said. Who are you? Uh, I'm Just. Just? Just who? Just Belmont. Your grandfather. What? Oh, we got all the family coming out today. For old man, he 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 kept, he kept himself up pretty good for old man. Oh, we got all the all the, the family relations today. The priest do it as the pappy of Maria. What? What? That that I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Like, and now we got grandpappy Belmont. What the? What? 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 Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm speechless. Like dad, dad. What? I did not see that coming. I don't I, I don't even have nothing to say for the end of this episode. What? <laughs> I'm, 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 I got nothing to say. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, follow on all the social media. And I'll see you guys next time for an episode of Castlevania. Because I have nothing to say for the end of the day. I, I'm done. What?